Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So I have another unboxing for you. And <laughs> lots of people like unboxings. I and mean, you know what? I have to admit, they are one of my favorite videos to make, you know, next to the giveaways and stuff. And I'll tell you why that is. Um, I live for yarn. I mean, I really, really love yarn. And I love all kinds of yarn. I like to collect yarn. I like to give yarn away. I like to create with yarn. I love finding different yarn companies with different yarns. I love buying from the same yarn companies and getting the same yarns. I just love to talk about yarn. And no one at my house likes yarn. There's no one in my family that likes yarn like I do. Now, my kids, they hate it. You know, I'm, I'll say something about yarn to my 16-year-old daughter, and she was like, get away from me, Mom. I don't care about yarn. Now, Mr. Mr. Bod, my husband, Mr. Pago Day, Eric, his name's Eric. So, Eric, he, he humors me. You know, he's a good man. He's a good husband. And, um, <clears throat> he, like I said, he humors me. He'll listen to me talk about yarn for as long as I want to talk about it. He'll listen. He'll, you know, he'll go, mm -hmm, that's cool. But I need, I know deep down inside, it's probably not something that he really, I know, it's not something that he really is, cares about like I do. So I don't really, um, um, have anybody else to talk to about but you guys. But, you know, that's kind of what marriage is about. I, well, me and Eric's marriage is, you know, he humors me about talking about yarn and I humor him. He likes to talk about things that I could care less about and I do not understand. He likes to talk about, like, physics and particles and science and I am not interested in that stuff at all. But I humor him because I know he humors me about the yarn. But anyways, I know that a lot of you like to talk about yarn. And I just like to show it and talk about it. So that's why I do my unboxing. So I'm going to quit talking now. And I'm going to show you what I got for you today. So today I have an unboxing from um, a company called Consumer Crafts. Many of you have might have heard of them. Um, I have bought yarn from them before. This isn't my first rodeo with them. So what I have today is I bought bought they have a uh, mill ends if you guys have seen me open mill ends before i really enjoy opening them and trying to guess what yarn it is but these are all cotton mill ends okay so we know what fiber it is and they're all spin right so you know that it comes from yarn inspiration so it's all 100 percent cotton and it's from spin right so you know it's probably going to be something like peaches and cream or uh, sugar and cream um, you know it's limited now that you know that it's 100% cotton you know there's only so much cotton at spin right um, I guess there's a Bernat handicrafter I don't know if that's 100% or not I can't remember um, but I'm gonna look through it and see what they got so they have their one pound spin right 100% cotton mill ends. Now, there's nothing wrong with mill ends. Um, M I L L ends, E N D S. You guys want to look that up if you don't know anything about it. There's nothing wrong with them. It's just stuff that's left over at the mill. Maybe um, there wasn't enough left to run the whole press again, so they just kind of throw them in the vat. Um, the, the skeins didn't weigh what they were supposed to weigh, and they throw them in the bag. They didn't have enough labels, they throw them in the bag. Just stuff like that. And then later they bag them up into pound packages and they sell them. Um, I usually get ones that are unknown fibers, but actually uh, Consumer Crafts has cotton ones. Now, they were on sale for $6 for a one pound bag. And I thought that was a pretty good deal um, for cotton. Um, because the cones aren't quite a pound and um I don't think if they I don't know I don't think I don't think they're a pound but if they are they're still over six dollars anyways let's look and see what they got now like I said this is not the first time I bought from um consumer crafts they have all they have a lot of yarn besides mill on mill ends on there you know average priced yarn um I think they got free shipping I'm gonna be speaking US terms um as far as dollars and as far as the shipping goes, I'm not sure if they ship outside of the U.S. or not. They do have free shipping on, I think, it's either $45 or $60. They change it all the time, and they might be having some special Black Friday codes going on now. I don't know. They often have 20% off. All kinds of stuff. So, I do look at their site quite regularly. But, one thing I've noticed every single time I order from them is their boxes are always 
got one stripe of tape on them and they're, and they're always uh open when i get them not open to where they're all over the ground it's just like as soon as you pick it up the pop tops so open and and then um that's happened to me every single time i order from them but that's okay you know shipping i it's not really i can't blame it on um ups or fedex i can't remember who shipped it because it's really there's only one piece of tape at the top i mean it's not and it's a heavy box i bought 25 bags of this of this cotton so there's 25 pounds of yarn in it and it's not really and the box is ripping open at the size too but i'm not going to complain about it because it was pretty cheap cotton i got crud all over my floor here i can't even move around okay so you guys want to see what's in it i'm super excited so Remember, these are mill-in cotton. And this is where the only place I have ever bought 100% cotton mill-ins is Consumer Crafts. Now, I am not affiliated with them at all, okay? I buy all this myself, and I do not get paid if you buy their yarns. I don't have affiliated links. I do not care if you buy it. I just want to show you a good deal. And like I said, I just like to talk yarn. And you guys like to... You're the only one that I really like today, you know, that I like to talk talk yarn to. You. Okay, so like I said, I ordered 25 bags. So I don't know how much of a variety they gave me. Let's check it out. So this is what it looks like. Factory melons, surplus, 100% cotton, one pound, 16 ounces. And on the site, it does say that it is from Spin Right, which is your inspirations. Um, packed in Canada, made in Canada. <clears throat> nice. So right off, you can tell. I'm going to open one up. But I can tell that this is peaches and cream cotton. It's that pink one that they have. I see it at Walmart. It's like $1.77 for the little skeins of it. Yeah. And then they have the big cones of it also. I think that's what that is. It feels just like uh, peaches and cream or sugar and cream. Now that's what I figured that I would get. Because I have bought these before. And that's what I got. So that is a really pretty pink. And there's a pound of it there. There's three of those. Uh, it's not tiny skeins. It looks like maybe. You know I don't know if, if that could be brunette. Handicrafter. I think it's peaches and cream. I think it's just rolled like this. I think it just came off the mill and they just rolled it like this. But I'm not all, I'm not all, I'm not 100% not certain. Only thing I am certain of is that it is 100% cotton and that it came from your inspirations factory. Their spin right factory. And it does feel like the cotton you get at Walmart. The peaches and cream or the sugar and cream or whatever that is. So it's a great... I like it. Like I said, I needed to get some more cotton up in my, uh, my up here. Uh, I don't have a lot. I gave a lot of my cotton away in giveaways. So, so I got one, I got one, six pinks. Okay. So they didn't give me, I got six of them were pink, which is nice. That pink is beautiful. This will work well for a baby, uh, a nice lightweight baby blanket baby dress something nice for uh october for breast cancer awareness month you know you can use cotton for lots of different things you can use it for pretty much anything shawls and stuff like that oh if i forgot to mention it's a four weight cotton and if i'm talking a lot it's because i drink coffee you guys know how i get when i drink coffee <laughs> it's hard to get me to shut up in it so six of the pink so i really think this is a good deal on my cotton and then i got this color which i've seen <clears throat> i've seen this color i've made stuff out of this color it's the tan with flex in it you could probably go to walmart and see it right there on the shelf and it's just, it feels the same it's going to be you know it, it would work well for kitchen items you know and you can make shawls and stuff out of it too if you wanted to i like it so I got some packs of this tan for flex in it. So there's one, six of those. So I wish they would have gave me a little bit more variety. But when you buy melons, that's the thing. You don't get to pick what you get. You just get what they give you, what they have at the time. And I'm not going to complain because I think for $6, that is a very nice, generous amount of cotton for that price. 
Let me move my stuff here out of the way. Here. Sorry. So six of those. <clears throat> Ooh, I got some black. I don't know what I'm going to do with black. I mean, I like black. I love, the, I mean, I love making things out of black. It's just unfortunate because when I redo uh, tutorials, people can't see black on the camera. So what I have to do is when I crochet with black, I normally don't do it because of that reason. But if I decide to use this and not put it in a giveaway... I'll have to crochet it in a, lot, a different color and then, you know, just show you how to crochet in a different color, but then make my piece out of black. I, that's nice. I like it. I have no problem with black at all. That's pretty. And I got one, two, three, four, uh, five packs of black. And I got the three big skeins of cotton in them also. I'm going to set them down here. <clears throat> And then I got some, <laughs> I might have some of this here. This is the green tweedy color. These got, we got little, this is the little balls. One, two, there's nine of them in there. I know. <clears throat> yeah, it's probably like sugar and cream or peaches and cream, like I said. So this is their little balls of it. And these bigger ones could have been going to be the big cones. And then they just decided that they don't, they weren't going to work out for cones. I don't know. So I got, like I said, nine balls here of that green color. I like it. I have some of this. Maybe one or two skeins of that on my shelf. Maybe. That I probably paid almost $2 for a little ball at Walmart, I'm sure. So I got one, two... Three. Some of these have nine in them. Four. And five. So they got between eight and nine balls. But they equal about a pound. Or a little bit over a pound I think. Well they're supposed to equal a pound. But I think they always are a little bit over. So I got four here and one more over there. I love this one. I love this one. I have made things out of this exact color on my channel. This is the peaches and cream in the color uh, psychedelic, I believe is the name of it. Ain't that pretty? I have, um, I made Evelyn a little bag out of this one time. She really likes it. She still has it. She puts her toys in it. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It looks like eight and nine. Well, eight and then like two little ones so together. So I got one of those, but then I got one more little package, I guess. They couldn't fit no more in that box. I don't know why. This one's actually taped pretty good. It didn't come open. Those might have came open because of it being so full and so heavy. I don't know, but anyways. You think they could have crammed one more in that box, but I guess not. And this one is also a pink one. So that is my Consumer Crafts Cotton Haul. Now, I really, really like everything that I got. Like I said, though, um, you can't pick what colors you get. You just have to get what they give you. And that's kind of the fun of it. Um, do I wish they would have gave me more variety? Sometimes I do. But then again, sometimes I don't. Like, I really like this pink. And there's plenty here that I can make. You know, you can make a big old blanket with all the pink that's here. But then again, I like to make uh, kitchen stuff with this cotton. So it would have been nice to have maybe a sack of a few different colors. But but I'm not going to complain because $6 a bag is a good price for 100% cotton. And remember, it is your inspiration's cotton. So more than likely, it is the peaches and cream or sugars and cream. Anyways, now if you go buy this. I can I cannot guarantee like say you buy like five packs I can't guarantee that they could all be the same color or they might all be different I have no idea the only time I've ever bought this I've always bought 20 or more more packs of it so I've always got at least a few different colors in mine um so I, I don't know how it works if you buy small quantities so if you do happen to order you know just a few bags 
Um, just remember it's a possibility that you could all get the same if that doesn't bother you or you could all get all different. I don't know the way it works there at their factory. But that's it. That's my consumer <clears throat> consumer crafts haul. I like it. I'm happy with it. It's a lot of cotton. Like I said, I needed to get some more cotton up in here. Um, I also got some more cotton coming too <laughs> from um, another yarn company. I got plenty of cotton now. I can't say I'm, not, I'm, I'm at a shortage. Um, now these are $6, like I said now, but that's on sale. Regular, I think they're $7.49. So um, if you are interested in getting any, I don't know how long the sale goes on for. I know it's I'm pretty sure it's still going on right now. But, uh, yeah, maybe they'll have some better deals than that. But that's it. Not much yarn talked, I guess, today. But I do have some more unboxings coming. Sure is a good time, though, talking about what I got. And it's going to be a good time putting it in giveaways eventually and making stuff with it. I definitely got some something in mind for that pink. I really do. Something I'll say baby girlish. But. You could always make it for a boy, too. Just, you know, whatever you want. I'm just looking at it, thinking. Alright, I'll let you go. Oh, somebody must be here. Clark's barking. Alright, Clark's my bloodhound. In case you didn't know, he's over 100 pounds barking. So, maybe somebody knocked. Um, yeah, I gotta go, because Mr. Bod's at the... He took Olivia... No, just him and Olivia are at the theater right now, watching the new Frozen movie. So I'm going to get off here and see what Clark's having to fit about. Maybe he quit barking, so it must be somebody just walking by. But anyways, I'm going to go check it out. Thanks, everybody, for watching. And I always appreciate you watching my videos, all of them, my tutorials, everything, even my unboxings. Because, you know, the more people that watch those, the more people I feel like, hey, they really like to talk yarn just like me. It makes me feel... You know, like, you guys, you know, you're all my friends. We just talk yarn together. So, thanks everybody. Bye-bye.